From the newsroom at news.com.au. G'day, I'm Andrew Bucklow and this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Wednesday the 20th of January. We'll start in the US and Donald Trump is reportedly fuming at the A-list lineup Joe Biden has assembled for his inauguration. Lady Gaga and J-Lo are set to attend and Tom Hanks will host a 90-minute special featuring performances from Bruce Springsteen, Justin Timberlake, Demi Lovato and the Foo Fighters. It's a stark contrast to Trump's own inauguration, which saw the then incoming president struggle to attract big stars. Entertainers at his 2016 event included Toby Keith, Three Doors Down and The Piano Guys. Not really sure who they are. Meanwhile, there are rumours that Joe Exotic, a.k.a. the Tiger King, could be among 150 people Mr Trump will give a presidential pardon to before he leaves office. Joe Exotic was sentenced to 22 years in prison for a murder-for-hire plot and for violating wildlife laws. Back home now, and a stoush is brewing between Tennis Australia and the Victorian government over who is responsible for the $40 million Australian Open quarantine program. Now, Aussie Open boss Craig Tiley said the government would absolutely be paying some of the cost of the mandatory two-week hotel quarantine for 1,200 players and staff. But Victoria's police minister, who is overseeing hotel quarantine in the state, has now returned to serve, saying the program will be fully funded by Tennis Australia. The tournament is set to start on February the 8th. And in other news, Australian Red Cross Lifeblood is urging residents of New South Wales and Queensland to donate blood in the lead up to Australia Day in order to prevent a potential shortage. Approximately 400 people a day are cancelling their appointments to donate blood across the two states. Now, there's no shortage yet, but public holiday celebrations such as Australia Day can place higher demands on blood stocks due to an increase in hospital visits. The organisation is calling for an extra 1,300 blood donors a day to come forward, 700 in New South Wales and 600 in Queensland. To entertainment now, and celebrity chef Colin Fastnage has opened up about his former feud with Manu Fidel. Here's what Fastnage had to say on I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. Oh, I used to fight everybody in the really? old days. Yeah, because like when your chef lands, forget about TV lands. Yeah. You're fighting to make your name. Yeah. Yeah. And then obviously I made my name, but I forgot to stop fighting. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Me and Miguel didn't get on. Me and Manu didn't get on. Because you all worked in the same kitchen. No, no, no. Just because I don't know. We we're just. That's how you never stop fighting. Yeah. Fastnitch and Fidel buried the hatchet when they worked together on My Kitchen Rules in 2015 and have since become best mates. And finally to sport, and Bernard Tomic has revealed that his social media star girlfriend is now his tennis coach. Tomic claims girlfriend Vanessa Sierra, who was a performer on adult site OnlyFans, has helped him win eight out of his nine most recent matches. Now, when asked how Sierra has helped him in his run of wins, Tomic said it's a secret. Sierra made headlines recently when she complained about not having access to a professional hairdresser while in hotel quarantine in Melbourne. And do you want the chance to win $1,000 each week? All you're going to do is play the daily quiz at news.com.au forward slash quiz and the cash could be yours. That's it from the newsroom. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another update. Your headlines from news.com.au.